Hey everybody, I am Scott Smalter, the Western New York Ambassador for PGA Hope. In the last few months, we've been uh, highlighting a few of our members, and this month we're meeting with Ralph Sirianni. Ralph, how are we doing today? I'm doing great. Good. Just to start, if you would, just introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your, uh, your military service. My name is Ralph Sirianni. I was in the Marine Corps from 68 to 72, Vietnam, Sergeant, and uh, MOS Grunt. All right, and then, um, you know, you've been a member of PGA Hope since, what, 2018? Yes. Or thereabouts. How did you get involved in PGA Hope? Uh, through the VA. Uh, Pam Kiznowski, Pat... Uh, McGowan? McGowan, yes. And uh, I, you know, I never really golfed before. I mean, I, I tried it a couple times, and, you know, I just didn't ever click with it. And I always saw the... Um, you know, the value of it, the coordination, the concentration, it always looked like something that, you know, it always had those factors that are uh, alluring to me. And when I retired and uh, this PGA Hope program came about, it just sounded like, you know, maybe it's time to give it a try. And getting out here with all the guys, uh, fellow vets and, and the PGA Hope pros, uh, it, it was just so genuine. Everything that they give is, you know, you can see it's, it's really from their heart. And uh, I embraced it. I, I'm enjoying it. I'm, I'll never be a, a good golfer, I don't think. I don't know. I might, I'll be happy if I'm good. <laughs> you know, as far as being yeah, good, I, I have you're no, out there. You're working no expectations, on yeah. yeah. You're working on the game, though. Yeah. So uh, golf is a, a new endeavor for you, yes. relatively. Yes. Uh, but one thing, and we're lucky enough that uh, you invited us to your studio today to show us uh, something you've been doing for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, another outlet for you is art. Absolutely. Why, why don't you tell us about that? Uh, well, I started drawing when I was, well, you know, people ask me how long you've been drawing. I, I just tell them, uh, I never remember not having a pencil in my hand. My brother, who was 10 years older than me, got me into art at a very young age. And neighbors and everyone always supplied me with artwork, pencils, I'm sorry, with uh, paper and pencils. And uh, it was just something I enjoyed doing. And through the years, um, it's, it's become more important. Uh, when I got back from Vietnam, there was a period there where I thought I might never get into art again because I was just too uh, too caught up in the anger and, and so much going on inside me that I, I just couldn't draw like I used to draw, which was like trying to mimic a camera. I always thought that that's how you had to draw. Until I met my mentor from UB in the art program there, Walter Perchonik, and he taught me, he was a World War II veteran, and he taught me that I had to take some of that that was going on in here and put it on a canvas. And don't worry about making it look exactly like that. Just get out what you're feeling. And things like this were happening. This is titled uh, Brush With Bare Knuckles. And to achieve the effect that I was looking for with this, I had to pin the canvas to a mattress. And once I had that mattress with this pinned on it, I covered my uh, self with a hazmat suit, something like that. I had uh, goggles and hair bonnet. And the only thing exposed was my hands and I was filling trays with paint. And I dipped my knuckles in there and take shots at the, at the canvas. Some were straight on, some were Dragged across, yeah, you can see here. and I take the brush and I do a little brush work on it. Come back into it with more shots, and I just beat the hell out of it. I don't remember if I was in a bad mood that day, or not, <laughs> but if I had been, I'm sure I felt better afterwards. Well, that's this is a, a piece of a whole exhibit that you have going on, correct? Yes. And how long has that been going on? This is uh, right next to your house is your studio. Yep. And there's quite a few pieces here. But um, this piece here that we just mentioned, that's the title of your, your show, correct? Brush with Bare Knuckles, yes. Very awesome. All right, well then, uh, 
check it out, and then we're going to go into another room and look at some more of uh, Ralph's work. You want it. All right, so now we're in another room of uh, Ralph's studio, and we're looking at another piece. Uh, Ralph, why don't you tell us about this one? Well, this piece is titled God's Angel, and there's uh, it portrays myself and my sons. This is Raphael, Michael, and my youngest son who passed away, and he's uh, in the grips of uh, the demon here who's trying to steal him and we're trying to save him save his soul and this is where the struggle lies down here and the angel of God is portraying hope and uh, an opportunity to come out of this into the light that's pretty amazing the detail is phenomenal like, how long does something like this take you to, to complete? Well, I painted this uh, mainly during February in what I call Studio B, which is a basement space, and it got quite cold down there, so I, I moved on it pretty quick. I probably had this done in about, I'm going to say maybe in about uh, five weeks. That's pretty amazing. So then, I mean, obviously, you're very talented uh, with your artistic abilities here. Uh, you know, you use art as an outlet and you use golf as an outlet. Uh, compare the two, how are they similar, if they are at all? How are they different? What do you get from each? Well, uh, a lot of the, you know, a lot of the elements that uh, are here in art are, are really the same as those in golf. And things like uh, concentration, dedication, um, you know, and and of course, working on it, you know, they practice over and over. So yeah, there's a lot of components that are very similar. I'm, I've been in the uh, the PGA of Hope program and also in the Parkinson's boxing, and they both uh, are very helpful. Uh, the PGA is great because you know I, I enjoy getting out on a beautiful day and, and playing around the golf uh, of course I haven't done that in a while being in Buffalo here <laughs> I'm waiting I'm it's really, about to turn everybody. I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting out there and just playing again because it's uh, it's an opportunity to just just like doing a piece like this getting all this hurt and anger that's inside and getting it out in a positive way, that's what's happening with golf also. Because I get, maybe I'm having that same kind of day and I get to get out there, get in that cart, go from hole to hole, have a few good hits and, you know, and it just, it's great. It's very, very good medicine. Now we mentioned, I mean, not to get too deep into it, but you lost your son. You just had a diagnosis of Parkinson's. How long ago? Uh, last May. So, I mean, here you got some some challenges that life has thrown you. But, you know, uh, needless to say, you know the saying, "Once a marine, always a marine." But I think it's very obvious that uh, you're never going to lose that that devil dog fight spirit. We're up. You know, whatever happens, you're going to march forward. Uh, use golf. Use art. Uh, you know, go to the the boxing uh, gym. Um, what what would you say to veterans to motivate them to? to have that fire in you, to, to not give up. I mean, when it, when it gets tough, it's tough. But you seem to overcome that and, and be able to, to use these things to, to your own benefit. Yeah, well, there isn't a night that goes by or a morning that arrives that I don't give thanks for another opportunity of having a day, you know? Uh, and, and it's my choice. It's all our choices to make the best of it. So I choose to, you know, to do positive things, to get out of that rut, that depression, because that depression is a killer. And uh, as we all know, you know, we put ourselves there a lot of times, you know, they say, you know, first thing, first thing you do when you find yourself in a hole is stop digging. And that's often the case. And the way I stop digging 
I get it out here, I get it out at the golf course, I get it out on a speed bag. There's positive ways of doing it, and that's something that's available to all of us. We have to embrace it. That's very cool, but uh, the exhibit, unfortunately we didn't get out here uh, early enough to really promote it, but it goes through tomorrow. And what, what kind of times are you open tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow's the last day, three to seven. Okay, and uh, do they have to set up an appointment to come out? Uh, no, not tomorrow, just come by and see the show. And, and where are we at, or where can they get the information? 642 Delaware Road, and that's in the town of Tonawanda. Delaware Road and Sheridan Drive, right around there where they meet. And also just to uh, highlight, Buffalo News came out and did a story on you. Um, we're not gonna hit on that, but Ralph has a great story about a pen pal, correct? That uh, yeah. You were in Vietnam and there was a high school student at O'Hara, right? Um, I, I think so, I can't remember. It was a Catholic school. Right? Okay, but a uh, great story. I'll actually, I'll pin, I'll post the, uh, the link to the, the article. Really fascinating to uh, sort of hear that story. Um, so Ralph, really appreciate you letting us into your studio, uh, letting us know more about you, and give uh, giving all those veterans out there some advice on on how you deal with you know what comes your way. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to seeing all you vets and pros and everybody out there this year. Thank you. All right, and then uh, lastly, uh, brand new shirt. I gotta gotta plug and do my ambassador duties. But uh, Patriots Golf Days, that's uh, a joint effort between uh, uh, not only PGA Hope, but also uh, Folds of Honor. Uh, it's a culmination of Memorial Day weekend where golf courses, professionals are helping us raise money. Uh, it's gonna be split, Folds of Honor and PGA Hope. Folds of Honor uh, basically gives academic scholarships to uh, children of veterans who've either been wounded or uh, passed away. And then on the other side, we got uh, PJ Hope that just provides golf as an outlet to people like Ralph and myself. So if you go to PatriotGolfDays.com, you can actually donate or you can, uh, if you're a golf facility or PGA professional, sign up there to help us promote it and raise some funds there. So thanks guys.